Ike Shirley and it's Mrs. Y again and obviously I have Mr. Y here. Hello. And you guys know today we'll be talking about our VIP events at the Madison brand opening. Which was like six weeks ago? Yeah. So these items been sitting around at home waiting for Mrs. Y to unbox and we're finally able to unbox and show you all these items plus our experience right because if you guys have been following me you guys know that i've been away for the past five weeks so <laughs> i can't wait to unbox these with you guys so you if you enjoy hermes unboxing video please go ahead and subscribe to mrs y my x journey as well as follow her on instagram here so then you can see what she's up to Right, so my channel does not only talk about our mess unboxing, there's a lot of shopping strategy, there's some stories. Um, I do some like shopping vlogs um, to give us an idea of how the shops it's like, um, especially in the States. Um, one of my bucket lists is to really visit all a mess store in the United States. So. So I know you went to, uh, recently went to Japan, so also visited Hermes. Are there teas to be spilling for everyone? There are. Oh, so definitely hit the subscribe button. Yay. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the story time. So now it's the story time. Let's talk about the VIP events, which Mr. La, you been to because you you would only be able to go by yourself right oh so the vip evening events yes yeah not mm -hmm. the vip shopping right mm -hmm. yeah so that was actually crazy um and i'm not really a vv <laughs> not really a vvip because they're the vvip who actually were invited for dinner as well yeah the they, first they, sessions, right? Yeah, they were able to go for dinner, they get to be at the store prior and they can see the ribbon cutting and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was not invited for that. Yeah. <laughs> I was just invited for the show. I think we watched, uh, I think someone posted on the story mm -hmm. or something and then I think um, Martha Stewart were there. She was there. Yeah, a couple of cele celebrities was there for sure. They yeah. got invited. Yeah. Yeah. And but yeah. not surprised. Not surprised. I mean, yeah. There's a lot of very, very well VVIP for sure. Right. Yeah. Uh yeah, it was fun. It was a very fun night. There was food truck, they kind of like block kind of have the street blocked a little bit, okay? Yeah. And it was like running from the three location, the woman's side and uh, actually, the men's side was actually exclusively for the catering people. They actually had other stores closed as well. I guess they ran out their space for that night. Mm. So then they have really the whole street because there's supposed to be a restaurant right next to Hermes and they actually utilize their kitchen for, you know, the, uh, event. the event that mm. night. And there was a lot of food truck and stuff like that. Uh, mainly, I was there for the musical. So I saw that, saw the new boutique. It was like an eye opener. Like it's, cr it was totally crazy. Mm. The first time you get in there and you see all the, all the different like showcase, like all the different things and the different level. It's just very nice. Yeah. So I do recommend for those who do come to New York for a visit, definitely check out the flagship store. Go pay them a visit. Just looking at the design, because I'm very uh, appreciative in terms of design and um, the interior design. I'm kind of interested in all that aspect. So how they display things, I do appreciate it. So I do, I found it very interesting. Mm -hmm. Like even if you're not gonna buy anything, it's just worth going to see the store. But anyway, let's talk about the VIP shopping day. Yeah, so the VIP shopping day was very interesting. It started from in the morning that you received a text. Yeah, I received a text from my essay that everything's already backed up. Yeah. So they were kind of... Because we were supposed to go feeling. in the morning, is it? No, 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 no. So our appointment is in the afternoon. 
initially we had it on Friday, but then we changed we it. changed it to Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. So then we had it at the four thirty time slot mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah, four thirty. Was it four thirty? Because it changed to five. five. Yeah. So it was only half an hour. Yeah. Changes. So there was a half an hour backup. Okay. Yeah, but then, however, we 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 went slightly earlier because we were a little bit tired. Yeah. So then we went just to check out the store. So they do let us in, um, mm -hmm. and then we waited for more. More than half an hour. More than half an hour. But it was fine. They were serving like coffee and cookies, and it's nice that they have enough like sitting. So then yeah. we were just sitting at. Like a nice equestrian side, yeah, yeah. There was a it table was nice. and there was uh, high chairs, so, yeah, yeah. So we sat there. Um, there was a lot of people, like, yeah, a lot of people. lots of people. By the time I met my essay, like, she was already very drained yeah. because it's like at the end of the day, it was all that craziness, yeah. And at first, it was a little weird, you know, this was like my official shopping with this new, with essay. The new essay, technically, yeah. even though we did bought some stuff back in September when we saw her to discuss what we want mm -hmm. for the VIP shopping event. Mm -hmm. But we were not... We're not synced yet. Yeah, we were not that sync. Yet. Yeah, we're still... I think we're still getting to know each other. I think she... She was still... I don't know, I felt like she was a little bit nervous with us. Yeah. I think because she's not sure how like what level we are or something like how i don't know we spent was, maybe like she it was weird but I, I don't think but i feel like she just want to make sure she doesn't do anything wrong with us you know i don't know so i went in like wait a minute like we had asked you items that we want right oh. not just bags right but like we had homeware yeah and then we had, you had your sandal that you wanted, your, yes. your chip free, yeah, the sh yeah. chip sandal. I was a little upset by that. Okay, okay, now I remember what you mean by oh, weird, yeah. yes. Drama! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Y was like way ahead of us. And because she was basically showing us like on each floor and then we said, well, just go our way up instead of going back down. So the second floor was the sh like the ready to wear like all the shoes yeah. and clothing. And so once you go up the stairs, there's like shoes on the side, like all the shelvings are over there. So I was like, oh. I think the second floor is the men, the men's, no, men's and the home. Yeah, oh. men's and the home. The third floor is the woman and oh. jewelry. So I went to the woman's shoes and ready to wear it's I remember it's like together. So I was looking at the shelf and I saw the trip break. There's, there's plenty of different the colors yeah. um, or even, you know, different materials. But anyhow, I was like, oh, you guys have trip break. So do you have my size? And the essay was like, uh, nope. I mean, she checked and then she oh, said, Oh, she's like, what was your, what's your size? Yeah, she did ask what's my size. I'm like, seriously? I thought like I gave we, it to you last yeah, time. Yeah, like we requested. Yeah, we requested. And because the thing is like she told you like, oh yeah, earlier the week. So technically referring to Friday, because Friday was the start of the VIP. Well, they I mean, did if, had it. I mean if we did went to our original timing, I guess I could have scored it. Yeah, they did have it. But unless they couldn't hold certain things, so I don't know. Like these are either free for all, so then you know it's didn't even matter in terms of yeah she couldn't reserve it probably yeah I, I think these um consider small items that they cannot but i guess like if i mean if we if i was working with my old essay i think my old essay would say like yeah yeah like the items that you told me yeah we had it but however i couldn't reserve it I think so we're gonna we're gonna just start off with what you can see what you browse and you know yeah. and stuff like that because I remember like the second floor was men so then I was like okay there's nothing that I really want to get I did ask her for for the belts before mm. and I and, and then she totally forgot it and I got a little annoyed so then I just like forget it I'm not buying it <laughs> for now <laughs> I'm not buying it for that day 
Because yeah. you can always get Mrs. it. Mrs. Wife, no for now because because after five weeks, I already got it. <laughs> so unboxing, <laughs> unboxing soon. <laughs> the reason I got it because my cousin's wedding, so I need a new belt. <laughs> right. So, and obviously she tried to tell me, oh, there's another style, like with the furs and stuff. And I'm like, nope, those are not my style. But there were so many people <laughs> at the women's shoes department. A it was lot. crazy. It was crazy. It was insane. I'm like, I don't, I don't feel like trying on any shoes at the moment just because it's so crowded and all. Um, but then I did score something else. But then I think it started to ease up a little bit because my mom went and see something ready to wear that she want to try out. Yeah. So then it got a little bit better. Yeah. And then you saw something. Yeah, I tried. Eye, you tried something. Right. And it started to get better. Yeah. But I was like, what is going on? Like, like, because I'm so used to with my old essay, if she has something, she will tell me, I yeah. have something for you. Maybe. But we'll look at other stuff first. Like she will be very upfront, but then she just like, oh, let me just show you. Like she was a bit shy and don't know like how to like lead us. Like, oh, so what do you want? Is there anything like like no. on the first floor you like? Is there anything in the I, second floor I, I you like? I feel like I feel like in a way she's trying to be like a tour guy, you know? Because but a bad it's a tour guy. Store. A, ba a bad <laughs> tour guy. Like then I was like. Okay, let me just explore the right <laughs> to boutique myself then. I know it was a little bit weird until like, I mean, but she's really nice in terms of like, oh, we want to try this, we want to try that. She is so patient and all, but I think it's just the way that she portray. Oh, maybe I I think like I'm I was a little bit upset because like we had asked you stuff like you didn't tell me anything like let's forget about bags right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we had asked her about jewelry. Yeah. She didn't mention any of that. But she did have something for us. You she know? did have it. But then it's just a matter of she didn't say it up front that I have things and for you. And literally the week before <laughs> I sent her like home stuff that I wanted. She didn't even mention that. Like, okay, we're at this level where you have the home and you didn't even mention it. Yeah. It was so I get a little, bit. I was a little pissed. It was a little weird. I don't know. Maybe I overreacted. I think I, I think you did <laughs> because because my, my, my expectation is different than it's it's definitely not on the same page as my essay. <laughs> well, you can't at that time. You can't compare. No. It, it is a little bit strange because normally I feel like Hermes essays they don't want to waste their time at all. Yeah. They will probably gather everything what their clients want ahead of time before yeah. the appointments because it's more efficient that way. Yeah. Maybe she's still learning. I don't know. Because she was but maybe it's a different. Two, I, I, so. And I then probably think like it's a different dynamic because this is a brand new store that you haven't seen. They want you to. Sh they want to show you around. But like I said, she's just a bad tour guy. That's all. <laughs> you know, like I mean, at least she can say like I do have something for you guys. You know, but let's check out. Like you can be so upfront. Like let's check out the store. I want to show you. The different layout of the department and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But then she didn't say anything. She didn't say anything. I was like, oh my god. I think she was just really drained. Because yeah, you, you looked at her when yeah, you she when was... she first came. She she basically like running. Yeah. Was it running like running she, around? She like was like catching her breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So in a way, yes. I, I can maybe I went in with too much of an expectation. Yes, yeah. but okay. but at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it, was, it went well, okay? so Yeah, obviously, it didn't disappoint us, okay? So, we can't wait to do the unboxing with you guys. So, let's just start with the part one of the unboxing, because we will have the part two. So, I'll, let, I'll hand it over to Mrs. Y to do the unboxing. So, I'm going to unbox in the orders of how we got everything. So, the first one we got was this um, lipstick. This lipstick is very special. Um, it's a special color for the Madison brand opening only. So it's a limited edition. So let me just open it and show you guys um, what the color looks like. So you see it's a very special color tone because normally it will be like white and red. So this is the color, even though it's dark, but it's pretty rich. Okay, then you can look at the bottle. Okay, 
okay so now just close this and this is for my mother-in-law okay so this is the second item it's still at the cosmetic and this is a limited edition for the season and this is the nail polish it looks like there's like glitter or shimmery effect so this is a really really nice like a purple-ish red and this is called Violet McGinnies maybe forgive me if I pronounce it wrong but this is more of a violet tone and this is um, actually I'm gonna show you guys first two because they're from the same department and they are ready to wear and I'm gonna open this one for you guys first yeah so this is the sweater that my mother-in-law my mother-in-law got and made in Italy and it's a very very nice print and this is in size three this is in size 36 I mean sweater sometimes you want it to be losing a little bit so then you can wear something inside and this is 20% cashmere 80% virgin wool and 20% cashmere which is really nice um, she tried a few of them and then we we all think this one is looks this looks nice on her so i like how these have these um embossed print which is really really nice and it's front and the back so it's not just plain and the price for this one is one thousand two hundred twenty five dollars which is not bad at all so now this is a second ready to wear and this is for me and this is the navy version of jungle love and this one is in size 44 um, because it's a slim cut so i figure you know a little loose and it's better and i realized how popular this is but anyways um so for this one if you want to know the material it's a 100 percent cotton so even though it's at a 100% cotton, the texture for this t-shirt, it's very silky smooth, unlike other regular 100% cotton. So obviously that means Hermes picked the best qualities of cotton to make their t-shirts. So this t-shirt costs $560. So if you guys know, because obviously these are livers and they match with my new bracelet that Mr. What has gotten me from the private sales. If you guys have not watched our first live show about the private sales um, about two or three weeks ago, you, I will put the link above and down below in the description box so you guys can re-watch that videos. So the next department that we went to is the homes department. So we got two items. Okay, so let's open the bigger one first. Ooh. So this is the espresso cup. And this is the H deco, of course. This is really nice really cute i mean it's so small but the box is so big for it yeah it's i guess it's meant for two sets uh, but unfortunately they only have one set left so oh the spider net this is really cool i think it's our first spider net so this one set cost 150 dollars okay so now open the second one from the same department this is actually my item. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wise items. Okay. And it's a mug. Yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed. He loves the mosaic design and palladium. So this is his mug from now on. He's really been waiting for me to open it so that he can use it. <laughs> So this one costs $200. Okay. 
Okay, let's look at which um, artisan this is. Oh, this is a sun, maybe? Oh, yeah, we have this actually before. Oh, we This did? artisan. Oh, for? Uh, must be the H Deco collection. Oh, not, yeah, not I've seen the mosaic. This. I don't think so, because mosaic, we only have a few items. I don't think so. Okay. So the next department that we went to is the jewelry sections. And this is the section I feel like we have a breakthrough <laughs> with the essay. Because she she's the one who said, Oh, I got your gown of rain. I reserved it. I have your size. And then my mother-in-law also got another rain on the spot, kind of. So that was that was when we felt like, okay. She did remember something and hold something for us. So I don't know which one's which, but let's just open it. And I was really happy with my ring. I mean, because been waiting for so long, like for more than a, almost a year now. So, oh, so this is my mother-in-law's ring. Which some of you who's been following me, you guys know, I also had a same ring, but it got stolen. <laughs> so if you guys have not watched that videos about how we got robbed in the Ritz Carton, I'll, I'll put a link above and down below for you guys to see. I really miss this ring, but I'm glad that they have my mother-in-law's size. So hopefully in the future, when they have my size again, I will probably purchase it. But this is for my mother-in-law, the Shandong ring. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys which ring that I got. And I feel like this is the hardest one to get. At least the one that I requested. Yeah, this is the Gallup ring. <laughs> I really love the head. The size of the head. Yeah, sorry for my nails, but I feel like they need to breathe. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to put it on for you guys. Yep. This is how I would wear it. Okay. This is really cool. I love it. And I think I, I can wear it in the middle finger as well. So, which give me a lot of flexibilities, which is great. I feel like you have a weapon on your hand. Yeah, be careful, Mr. Y. <laughs> so just so you know, this Shandong ring, it's in size 53. And my Gallup ring, it's in size 59. Because depending on which finger, depending on which finger you wanted to wear, um, then you measure that finger specifically. And for the price of it, the Gallup rate is $660. The Shandong rate is $415. Okay, just for your reference. So now I can wear it to work tomorrow. Yay. So the next two items, the next apartment that we went to, I'm not going to unbox it today because there's a little story in that department. So I'm going to wait until the part two. And you can probably guess what these are for now. And these are the two items that we went to. And these are the, um, the leather department. And by the way, there's another item there, but it's missing. But I did take a chance to film it. I will tell you guys more about that story in the next videos. So in the leather department, we actually purchased three items. Okay, so now, last but not least, we went back to the first floor and we purchased these two items. So let's just open it. You guys can probably already guess what these are. But... So these are the Trillies and both of them are the same. Is this a hint, Mrs. Y? Possibly or not. <laughs> Is this a hint? <laughs> oh know. my goodness. Are you teasing your viewer? I think she is. Yeah. Don't you guys love that? <laughs> Give her a like button right now if she's <laughs> if she's teasing you. <laughs> or if you like my teaser, okay? <laughs> so these are the Twillies. Um, one hint, these are not mine. 
these are not mine. <laughs> so this truly is really nice. It's basically is double sided. So depending how you like to wear them, you can wear it back and forth. And in the future, I'll probably tell you why my mother-in-law picked this one or this way for a specific bag. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's videos and enjoy the unboxing with us and Mr. Y's experience at the VIP events. And of course, there is a part two and more story about the VIP shopping. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification so that you won't miss the next video on part two. But before part two, we will have another unboxing for the Thanksgiving series. So make sure you watch that. And then the week after, we'll do the part two. And at the meantime, I will say, do you guys know me enough? Do you guys know Mrs. Y enough? Because if you do, you can probably guess and already know what this box is. I mean, it's quite heavy. <laughs> so obviously, I am back to my mini bag journey. <laughs> but if you guys know me really well, you guys know what this mini bag is. Probably. I don't know. You tell me. Please comment below and let me know. Or, I don't know, you can DM me and see if I will tell you. I don't know. <laughs> but make sure you follow me on my Instagram, Mrs. Y Journey. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!